Welcome to the Talk With Clouds podcast. Your host is Katie Ann, an island girl on a journey with her guests to learn about their backgrounds, businesses, passions, experiences, life lessons, and wins. Come and laugh, cheer, learn, and plan with us. My friend, take some time to come and talk with Clads. Hello, world. Welcome to Talk with Clads. My name is Katie Ann, and I will be your host for today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have been gone for a while, so I wanted to say I hope everyone is having an amazing year so far. We are at the end of September. Can you believe it? September, September is almost gone. Um, we're coming on to October. And actually, we're approaching the Jewish holidays um, now, ro- the Jewish high holidays, which is Rosh Hashanah. Hopefully, I'm saying that right for um, my Jewish uh, people. And uh, I know I n- normally just use Rosh Hashanah as the beginning of the holiday season. So now that it's here, then um, it's October and I think they have Yom Kippur. And then we are diving in. So nine months. Now we're at um, nine months slowly or quickly kicking the doors into the 10th month of the year how do you feel how do you feel about the year thus far has it been good to you and if it has not been good to you what are you doing about it like for me i i i did my vision board some things i was able to achieve some things i wasn't now i'm not gonna say that i sometimes don't get oh my god i'm not where I want to be, but then that's where you pivot and um, you you reevaluate what you're doing. And then if it's not working, what can you do differently to get to where you need to be? And I am a full blown entrepreneur, been doing the darn thing with Clad's resources. Um, we kicked off the talent acquisition part of the business. Um, we were more so focusing on HR consulting, and uh, the newest division is um, talent acquisition, uh, recruitment, and that part has been doing so well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all my clients. Shout out to you. You have been amazing. Thank you for blessing the business. And also, thank you to God, because with him, all things are possible and the business wouldn't be doing as well as it is because of him and i am going to bring it to the part where you go okay what do you do when the thing that you you're not really planning for just happens because i think for me i was just kind of dappling a little bit with just being a business owner more so focusing on the planners um also we have a gift from bella uh, which is my doggy um, clothing, you know, more looking at the pet industry. And so that was the biggest focus and um, conflict resolution, HR. Um, didn't really dive into it as much as I should have. And then in April, I got a big push. It wasn't the push that I planned for, but it was the push that was needed. And I am going to tell you this. The push or the kick happened April, sometime, like let's say the first or second week in April. The same day it happened, let's say this happened at three by six, seven o'clock, I got a contract. I wasn't looking for the contract. I am just out there, just being me. You know, I'm very professional and I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm good at what I do. So 
when you utilize CLAD's resources, you're getting top-notch service, not from just me, but everyone who is a part of the CLAD's brand. And if you've worked with me in a setting where I was with another with an employer and you've had to interact with me, you've had some of those experiences. So someone who had an interaction with me years later came back and say, hey, we want you to partner with this organization and it's just been going really well. And then one contract led from another one to another one to another one, another one, DJ Khaled voice, another one. So... I am going to say when sometimes we, we question what is happening to us. Why is this happening to me? Um, when it happened, that little kick and, and one day I will do a full podcast about it because it's crazy. But there are some other things going on behind the scenes that needs to be taken care of first. Um, you know. It was time because I, I remember saying to a, a, a girlfriend of mine, I'm going to give this 90 days because this is not it for me. Um, it, it had become like a very toxic environment and not one that I wanted to be in anymore. But, you know, it happened sooner than I thought. And I was like, oh, I didn't plan for this as yet. But I felt peace. I felt peace. And I felt like this was the right time. And it obviously proved to be the right time because... Um, our numbers are, are doing very well. So if you are looking for someone who can staff your business, if you're looking for um, talent acquisition services, please check our website out. It's the newest division to the CLADS brand um, at www.cladsresources.com. Um, you can check out our Facebook page, Clads Resources, or Instagram, Clads Resources. Um, it's HR Consulting, um, Conflict Resolution, Talent Acquisition, um, services that's offered. And if you're looking for employment, we are hiring. We are hiring. So go ahead, um, send us your resume. Um, we'll take a look at it and, and, and see if you want to be a part of the Clads brand. So I hope that, you know, circumstances may not be what you want to have it to be. But then they say when life gives you lemons, you turn it into a lemonade. In my situation, I think I didn't get lemons. I got a little bit of orange juice. So I just turned it into a mimosa. <laughs> Oh my God, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I missed you guys. I missed you guys so much, but that's just because um, I, I needed to get the business to where it needed to be um, on that on that um, end. And so that's why I have a podcast, but I there were some great episodes that I wanted everyone to get caught up on. So th those were some of the replays that we're playing and hopefully you are caught up. And that you caught my interview on Dream Chasers Radio. It was an awesome interview just speaking about how I kind of started CLADS Resources um, and the, the vision board planner footsteps to my vision. And that was just on a dare. <laughs> so life is so funny for me. Like, you know, like they say, man up and got a white butt. My life so far has just been one of those things that you just can't make it up. I don't think most people you can make it up anyway. Everyone is an individual. So um, we are we have some great, great podcasts um, coming up for you to listen as we kind of kickstart and try to get back into the groove of things. And you'll be hearing um, other guests sometimes taking over the podcast um, just to talk about real life happenings what's going on in the business world how that affects life family uh, mental health friendships um i am going to have a mental health specialist on because mental health is so important um for your your health over your overall health your how you interact with others be it in a professional 
um, setting or a personal setting, um, your family life. Uh, many, many people say work-life balance. And then there's the new um, trend that's going on where it's like quiet quitting. You're like, oh my God, what's quiet quitting? And what does that have to do with mental health? Um, you know, typically 40 hours per week, but you may work a 60 hour work week. And so you know, you, you don't have that balance. And so you experience burnout. So quiet quitting is where you're still performing whatever your work duties are, but you're no longer subscribing to that hustle culture where you have to get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Um, mentally, that work has to be your life. So now you're looking for that balance. You're looking for work-life balance um, and you're not stressing internally. So it's mentally checking out from work and it's just, some people say it's just basically doing your, your work ordinarily. You know, and, and I hate to say the work, the word ordinary, because you should be doing your work ordinary, but you don't, you don't need to be an overachiever. So this is a new term that has been, if you're on social media, you know, first it was the, the great resignation where people was, they were leaving the workforce because of, you know, this happened after COVID, COVID made everyone kind of go, oh, is this what? You know, people are dying and family became more um, important as it should be. But, you know, sometimes we put work above what we are family members. And I am one of those that did that. And so with COVID, where you were seeing that people were pretty much just dropping like flies or employers didn't care about how about the employee. They're like rushing people back to work. Um especially in healthcare because healthcare I think got impacted the most if you're if you're an essential worker um, then you know covid you still had to go in during those times so with that people were leaving the workforce they were like oh no this isn't it for me um, you know they were starting their businesses um, they were doing something different um, and choosing and that's all the great resignation and, and it's somewhat still affecting the workforce now because you still have a lot of jobs out there versus um employees so there's more of a supply and in some industries it's more um so than others so quiet quitting is after now um the great resignation and, and in some cases you have both going on where it's like People are leaving, especially in healthcare, because they're burnt out. Um, they're leaving the workforce in large numbers. And then the ones that are there, they're like, you know what? I need balance. I don't need to be an overachiever. So these are, and all that affects, because quiet quitting, you're like more so focusing on mental health. So what leads to quiet quitting? Because typically people just don't set out to go, oh, I'm going to quite quit. I mean, in fact, this is like a new trend. So s people don't typically go out saying, I'm going to quiet quit. Something in the workplace happens where they're like, okay, um, you know what? This is it for me. And so it could be, um, and it's a shift. It's a shift that happens in their, their job. So they may have put like a huge effort into something at work. It could be a project um, that they were given or, or they didn't get the project, but they, they did it anyways and they were assertive. And then there was a lack of acknowledgement or something with the employer remains constant. There's lack of support or there is always change in a negative way. And so... The, or leadership is inconsistent in what they say or the leadership itself is inconsistent where there's a multiple turnover. And so it leads to a space where the employee feels demotivated. And so they now mentally begin to check out. And so while they're checking out, 
that then leads to a shift into the beha- into um, their behavior, and then that leads to quiet quitting. And so, what are some signs of quiet quitting? It could be all right. Now you have someone who was hustle, 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 hustle. I am an overachiever. I'll arrive very early to work. I'll be the last one to leave. They're putting in mad hours now, and any task that you give them, they're taking it on because they they had that hustle mentality. Now, when you give them task that's outside of what is considered their traditional job description, they're saying, you know what? I don't think I can take this on. Um, and they're they're pushing back, so they're saying no to ta- task that it's considered outside of the job description. Or, as I said, someone that comes to work on time, leave um, late. Now, if they're working, let's say, a nine to five shift and they used to stay nine to six, nine to seven. uh, Now they're they're transitioning back to leaving. If work ends at five, they're out that door at five or five or one. So they're now leaving work on time. Or so they're they're no longer shooting to be like, let's say they have a metric that they have to achieve at work. They have to sell a hundred dollars worth of product and they used to sell two hundred. Um, and then you see that behavior where they're still meeting the metric. They're not going to two hundred. They're they're still they're just selling the one hundred. That's it. That's it. They're leaving out work on time. They're saying no to whatever task and they're no longer um overachieving on their duties they are also less emotionally invested in the company the organization the employer the employees their colleagues if they were interactive before they may be less interactive um also there's no interest in in going in growing with the organization um they're not replying to messages on time or if it's outside of work hours you if you send a message on friday at 501 you will get a response on monday at 901 and typically they would respond over the weekend so those are some of the signs of someone that it's um you know, they're going through the signs of quiet quitting and you're like, well, what's the impact that an employer may have? Because they're they're sticking to their job description. They're coming to work on time. Um, so how does that impact the employers? But before we get to that, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Do you want to provide a memorable experience at your event? Book Pinbounce at 561-727-5488. Pin Bounce offers bounce houses, cotton candy machines, tables, chairs, and other event services in Palm Beach County, Florida. We offer all you need in one place. Follow us on social media using at Pin Bounce and to book your event, call us at 561-727-5488. Remember, we put the P in party with the Pin Bounce touch. Call Pin Bounce! Clad's Resources and Consulting values its customers. Our planner footsteps to my vision is a 13-month planner that can be used for five years. It walks you through SMART goals, SWOT analysis, action planning, and holds you accountable through three monthly check-ins. We work only with top quality materials, innovative designs, and verified suppliers which are guaranteed to deliver to our high expectations because when it comes to our customer satisfaction, there is no room for compromise. Made with high quality PU leather and paper planner helps you focus on achieving your goals by giving you a sense of personal and professional satisfaction. Some of the amazing features of this product, vision board planner, luxury pen, eight gigabyte USB flash drive, wireless mouse, ultra elegant packaging box, available in five stunning colors, black, red, gold, pink, navy blue. Material, PU leather, 13 month planner, elastic band for easy handling. Our footsteps to my vision is available at Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, our website, and at Walmart. 
You may also follow us at www.cladsresources.com, Instagram, Clads Resources, Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Clads Resources forward slash customer satisfaction there's no room for compromise made with high quality pu leather and paper planner helps you focus on achieving your goals by giving you a sense of personal and professional satisfaction some of the amazing features of this product vision board planner luxury pen 8 gigabyte usb flash drive wireless mouse ultra elegant packaging box available in five stunning colors black red gold pink navy blue material pu leather 13 month planner elastic band for easy handling our footsteps to my vision is available at amazon facebook instagram our website and at walmart you may also follow us at www.cladsresources.com instagram clads resources facebook www.facebook.com forward slash clads resources forward slash you're listening to talk with clads find more resources online at cladsresources.com now back to the show with your host katie ann So what are, how are employees um, or employers addressing this? Because this started because of the Gen Zs. You know, as they are entering the workplace, they um, are more educated than any other generation. Um, and so they're working when they're younger. And so they've grown up, they've grown through um, the COVID virus They've gone through like a financial crisis when COVID happened. Um, they've seen the political turmoil going on through the most recent elections. So they are they are they are more like okay analytical, and they're like, well, do I want this for myself? Do I want, um, you know, life is so short, life is so fragile. Um, so they want to connect more to their their communities. And, you know, they're more socially aware. And so the or businesses now, they have to adapt because Gen Z's are now going, OK, I'm looking for a balance. I'm not looking for hustle, ba- hustle, bustle, because life is so fragile and you just have to live it. So that's how quiet quitting um, is is now becoming a thing. And, you know, the Gen Z's, they're on TikTok. They're on more so on um, social media. And so they're, it's, it's spreading, you know, because they're like, okay, I don't, I, you know, I don't think employees should be burnout. You know, they want the workplace to be more aware of employee burnout and exploitation and um, address it, you know, address. So employers now have to have those types of conversations with their employees. You're seeing wellness programs booming and the types of benefits that are offered to employees are a little bit more non-traditional than it was before where they're offering, you know, hey, we'll pay your gym membership. Um, we have these health programs. We'll do this. We, we donate to this group. You know, you can get community hours. Um, you know, they're promoting that more. Um, because they want the employees to feel like they're striving more for a good work-life balance. So, you know, as a, as I said, I'm booming on the talent acquisition side. And sometimes when I'm speaking to candidates, most times, let me just correct myself. Most times when I'm speaking to a candidate, the number one thing that they say that they're looking for is work-life balance. And as an individual, as a business owner, and as a contractor for different organizations, um, as we are, you know, we're, we're speaking with um, or, or C-suites, we're getting that information out there because we want our clients to be um, educated about the topic and also, you know, be innovative in how they address these these um, issues as they come up or try to avoid them if possible. I don't know if you can avoid it because it's, it's something that's going up, but you can be proactive versus reactive as an employer. 
Um, so we, we have to strive for that um, goal of, of, you know, reducing employee burnout because, you know, they're not going to be creative. Um, they're not going to, it's not going to be profitable if you're burning out your employees. So I know I kind of went off a little bit on that, um, but I just wanted to touch base with everyone and say we're back. We have a great lineup um, ahead as I, 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 I dived in a little bit about the quiet quitting thing and um, I haven't talked to you about like how's your stock portfolio or your, or your crypto portfolio, how is that doing? The market has been, eh, you know, with the whole um, gas prices skyrocketing, if you're looking at your stocks right now, the ones that are doing well, especially in the S&P 500 right now, and um, for the month of September, predominantly they're, they're oil and energy stocks. I think Occidental Petroleum, um, that was always actually a good stock to have in your portfolio. Um, it, it was performing over 144%. Um, I actually had Marathon when COVID hit and I held on to it. It, it, it did not do that great. Um, and I let it go. And I'm kind of sorry that I did because it, it's now at over 57.4% um, in terms of how it's performing. Exxon Mobil is a good one. It pays good dividend. Um, I have that. Um, that's at 56.2%. Hess is doing good. All these oil stocks are doing really, really, really good. And like the tried and true stocks, I mean, they're still doing good, but Netflix actually went down like 62.9% match i was talking to a friend the other day who's on a dating app and i was like oh what are you one and i suggested well you know back in the days when i was in the dating world i was doing match and i'm happily married but you know before my, my happily married stage um and i was one of those that was always working so i was like okay let me see if i can go online and meet someone i was on match so i, I guess that kind of dates me but she's like, Matt's so old school. We're using Bumble now. And she mentioned something else. So she actually proved the point that I'm about to say because the worst performing stocks of the S&P 500 for September, Match was on that list. Um, and then Stanley, Black & Decker, Caesars Entertainment. Oh, I hope Netflix is able to, to bounce back, but they keep raising the prices and... I don't know if their their lineup is that great. Now, I like to say I am not a professional with stocks. So do your own research and seek the advice of a professional. All right. Um, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Tesla. Um, they're trending down, but those are really good blue chip stocks. So do your research on those. I wouldn't get as scared when you're you're investing in those types of stocks. Um, in all honesty, a lot of times when I see those stocks go down, if I'm able to, in a position to purchase, I will purchase them because I, and you know, it has done well. But as I said, I am not a professional. Always do your research when it comes on to the stock thing. My expertise is talent acquisition hr all right so that's 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 what i can say you know i i kind of know that well not kind of i know that very well all right so glad to 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 speak and kind of catch you guys up um ahead as i say great lineup in terms of guests some mental health guests you'll speak here to different um business owners you're gonna hear from um you'll have people other hosts on the podcast um, speaking about different topics sometimes I will not be the person facilitating that discussion so stay tuned and thank you everyone I am so excited for us to be back um, October come on guys it's we're almost to the end of the year if you are near the finish line and you have achieved most of what you're doing great job um, if you're like me and there's some things that you want to get done and you haven't done it, come on, just cheer each other along. Uh, we can do it. We can do it. Yay. All right. That's what I'm telling myself in my head. Cause I know that vision board. I, I know I'm not going to complete all of it. Let me just be realistic. You know, smart goals gotta be realistic. 
Uh, but I will continue to try until I'm able to achieve it. I'm not someone that gives up very easily and everyone who knows me knows that. So thank you guys. Thank you so, thank you so much for listening to me speak. We're back. And thank you so much for taking some time to talk with Clads. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. Find us on social media at Clads Resources and online at www.cladsresources.com. Our planner, Footsteps to My Vision, is also located on our website or on Facebook, Instagram, or Amazon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check back weekly for new episodes. Until next time, keep creating your footpath to your vision.